David Hockney said that what makes a good artist is someone who can has the eye, they can see, the hand to practice and use their skills, and the heart. The heart to make the work their own and make it special. I've been painting for about four years in oils. Prior to that, I was doing mosaics um, while I had young children because I found it to be an easy thing to put down and pick up. But in the end, they were very it's very hard on your hands and you would you cut yourself a lot and it's hard on your wrists because you're using hammers and to chip away at the glass and cutting glass and so I got a little burnout on that. And then I had a faux finishing and mural business before I had kids. And I painted some show houses in the area for the Harrisburg Symphony. And that was mostly acrylics and pa always painting on walls. And I had a pretty thriving business doing that until I became a mother and that took over my life. Recently, most of my work is of very detailed, realistic portraits, I call them of insects. So a big influence for me are old botanical books and natural history books and natural history museums. I love to go and see all these things and learn about them. And the books are the way that I've learned and the visual information that I get from them is very helpful. That's a big part of who I am. I have a large collection of books that are really important to me. I've always been into nature and love being outdoors and looking closely at nature. And then the insects sort of came along and I started learning about bees and especially bees because their numbers are decreasing and I'm in awe of these creatures when I look at them and I want other people I want them to see that and because I believe that you protect what you care about and if you don't know anything about it you're not going to try to protect it and do what you can to save it so just planting native plants there's very simple things that we can all do to help these creatures so on the back of my paintings, I put um, a little bit of information about each one so that they know what they're buying and where that creature lives and what it does for the environment. I feel very strongly about that and very passionate about insects, especially. <laughs> I was very intrigued by cabinets of curiosity and the history of that because they were the precursors to museums. The collections that people would have, they would invite people over and it was a source of entertainment and it was prestigious. It was a way for them to show them how smart they were, that they traveled around and they collected these things. I'm very intrigued by that, but I didn't like the idea of having live or, or animals that were alive and then it put into a box. So I'm painting them to sort of give that feel that you can really see the details and know what it is, but you're not having a, 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 an animal that died. It's important to me to, cause I'm in awe of nature and I want to share that. And I want people to look deep into it and care about it because it, we have to, there, there's no other choice. We have to understand it know it and protect it, otherwise we, we won't exist. For more from Mosaic, please like and subscribe to the channel or check out another video. To help support this project, please visit witf.org mosaic.